Right on time, every time. <laughs> Fucking real cut off, I'm telling you. Hey, three minutes isn't Shut bad. Shut the hell up. Real We're pretty good. Shut the hell up. I haven't said well, that. Well, that's what like we get for being on. That's what we get for being on time the last show, man. <laughs> you gotta Where keep him got on your toes. If you guys are on time all the time, then people would really start wondering what's going on. So. Exactly. <laughs> your mouth is tired, bro. <laughs> Everything's Boom. tired. So. <laughs> at a meeting at nine o'clock to get ready for it. Oh, tonight? Shit. No, this morning, man. Oh, okay, okay. Jeez, I was like, oh, weekend, you're, really, yeah. you're double booking. Quadruple booking, brother. But we're going to talk a recap of the championship weekend. All kinds of championships going on. The Double championship weekend. B side. B side. And everything to do with that, of course. We'll get through that. We got some beasts of the week, too. Some solid ones here. For sure. Chrissy is still <laughs> cashed up. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. Hey, at least she showed up. I would have known. She on, did on show nine, up. Nine to Thanks ten guys that would have never shown up. <laughs> Had to get up and guide all day after yesterday. It's been a long few days. I hear you, brother. Well, you didn't do anything yesterday, so you might as well do that today. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, man. Poor, poor <laughs> guy. About that. Ouch. What's up, guys? Whatever, Great job of the weekend. They still cash the check, man. They still Appreciate cash you. the check. Go hard, go hard. We're going to go hard here. This is beer kicks in here. Red Bull. Sorry, this is Red Bull. What's going on, Captain Kirk? Just got home from Baker's Narrows. Nice. Was keeping an eye on that, on the stats while fishing for Lakers. Cool stuff. And we were talking about that. Go for Lakers. We'll, we'll get a report from you in a second here, brother. What up? Hey, look, it's Leon Dusty Rhodes. Leon the Inter making an appearance. We got a good show. We got a good show. We're going to talk all kinds of stuff here. Is that your other channel there? Leon Dusty Rhodes? No, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Dustin from work. We know him. We know Dusty. Gold dust, bro. Gold dust. Gold dust. Dust. Oh, hey, that's Anyone old school wrestling. That's old school wrestling, man. man. Bro. <laughs> you know, I had... Dog. I bought this the other day. I should have... Uh, I should have had it because I almost dropped the phone in the hole. Oh, shit. You'd be, you'd be dead, bro, if you do dropped Yeah, I know. Phone, yeah. I know. It's a dummy string for uh, phones. I don't for, use for, my, Well, my for shoes. people with cell phones, which a few of us have dropped the phone in the water, right? So... I Is that from the yeah. Kickerfish Classic from way back still? MYC Classic? No, no, I got this. No. I, just got, I just got this on uh, uh, what do you no. call it? Uh, Amazon the other day. Amazon. Oh. I handed but it. But they that stole. Up. They stole oh, the Kickerfish it. tag. They stole the lanyard from you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for all your work. Our hard work this year. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you guys, Sheldon and uh, Jim. Shots fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get the intro going. We'll get into the show right away. Here, it's uh, let's do it. We got the CDP challenge too. CDP challenge coming up here. Oh, Yo, 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 it is Monday, March 25. We're going four way in the house today. Leon, uh, the intern, making an appearance here. It's been a while. Jeremy Santos, the dragon boy, short fuse de Tolly, and uh, your host, Eric Lopopa. I'll take that off there. I'll get me back on the screen. I'm surprised she can still talk today. I know, oh, man, uh, if I can talk for saying. six hours, I can certainly talk for one hour man, here. Man. I, I like legit feel sorry for your parents because you're one of those motor mouth kids, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we think Nash is bad sometimes, I guess, eh? And back in back <laughs> in the day, normal for Eric. parent-teacher meetings, the biggest complaint, and teacher would even write it on the report card, too talkative, talks too much, all kind of, doesn't raise his hand. <laughs> Does <laughs> mine was always too disruptive? Doesn't listen in class. Go figure. Yeah, smoking blunts. 
Smoking pots. <laughs> grade two. That was later. Grade two. That was grade six. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a recap of uh, the Kickerfish Icebreaker Elite Series. A lot of cool things. A lot of cool storylines there. Two simultaneous events on Sunday. Uh, tour cars. We can do a little talking about that. The awards. All the cash we had. Uh, all kinds of stuff. And then the Bassmaster Classic with some Canadian content going on. But not yep. the Canadian we thought or wanted to happen. So... We'll talk about that too. Duh, are you crazy? No, Mike, I, I go to sleep with this thing. Never mind. Yeah. Probably hey. does. <laughs> he does a lot more things than that, Mike. Man. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Santos. Santos throwing it out there. It's going real life. Mike, Melissa Van Gampo. Pretty sure the teachers would tell her experience. He's on motor mode. That was true, man. I still remember that, man. Grade one, even. Like, that was. They said you're too talkative. Too talkative. Ah, what's wrong with that? What's wrong? Did you know? I'm on a tangent again, but in grade one, <laughs> teacher in grade one, in grade, one. grade one at John and King School, inner city Winnipeg. She like we had an odd number of students in the class. Like it was back, it was a big class before, like 31, 15 desks on one side or something like that. No, 14 desks or 14 desks, and then she, she put me in the middle at the back by myself, and that was the pattern. Me by myself in the middle there. So you wouldn't bother anyone else. That's I wouldn't why. bother anyone. <laughs> I still remember this. I think the principal came in and said, I don't think you can do that or whatever, because I was by myself, but that did not stop me. I came I came in one day and my desk was beside the teacher's desk. That one is horrible. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. My classroom only had adults in it, and they were called principal, <laughs> vice principal, and the secretary. <laughs> so... We had a You're special a special seat for Mike in the office, man. And the strap. We got a bigger shout out before we get started. Pyatt's West Campground, uh, year long sponsor here. Uh, Mike's uh, saviors, too, Jody and uh, Jason yep. over there. Uh, give them a call. Camping just around the corner. We're wrapping up ice here, folks. We're getting there. There's still a, a good few hard weeks here, especially for the lake trotters uh, and uh, green backing. But uh, give them a call. Let's get your camping done. You mean you want to just give uh, Lake of the Prairie a shot? You're going to cross it off your list. If you've never done it, uh, go fish Lake of the Prairies. Definitely, definitely so. And Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear, a uh, huge shout out to them and provided all kinds of prizes for uh, the championship weekend there too and the season. And uh, augers that we've been using all season ourselves over here going red on this side. Uh, thank you to Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. I don't know. Mine are green. Mike's is green. <laughs> Oh, I, green side. I think I seen that red one once and went by in the tra back of a truck or something. <laughs> Were you homeschooled, Leon? Oh, ouch. Oh, man. <laughs> that was that video he sent today where there was a hand dogger with no cleats. <laughs> yeah, that was the that was the champion there. Do we have a tip of the week? Yeah. What's the tip no, of the I'm... week? Let's start off with a tip here while I get warmed up here. Oh, uh, if you can't catch fish, just drive till you get stuck, drill a hole, and wait for somebody to That's the tip, man. That's the tip. <laughs> and you'll tell us the story on that. Like, order. like you said, the, the, the lake is telling you something, man. <laughs> Andrew Petrowski, remember day one, he drove all the way to the other side of the lake, decided to come back, yeah. didn't make the cut. So then he's on the B side, ripping around, and he said he was following. Okay, one. Don't follow a snowbird track because they can go where you can't in the truck. And then he drove into the track and buried himself. Like there isn't and he was, much snow out there, but I guess you can get stuck still, no? Well, he or, went in the or, absolute worst. You, the same thing. I can't say anything because I did it with a quad. And he buried his truck, like legit buried that front end. So like Barry, said, and thank you, Barry Dawson, for going out looking for him. Exactly. Yeah. And he still couldn't get him out too. Like he couldn't get him out right now. Yeah, away. some other some other guys got him out. He said, "What, what did Andrew say? Some farmers got me out. Too, too far. Yeah, farmer boys or something. Diesel. Yeah, yeah. There you go. They had a real truck. That's why. There you go. Yeah. So he ended up getting a twenty nine and a quarter, waiting for everybody. And I think he said he lost another big one at that yeah. same spot, man. So, so so next year he's just going to drive around until he gets stuck and fish. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Before we get into deeper, I just want to say, um, I said it yesterday too at the awards at Carlos Cochina. Shout out to Carlos Cochina, by the way, Carlo and Marnie. Marnie and, uh, and her staff were, uh, they did Cooking not up a storm. all yeah, the dude. people there. Like, like Marnie, when we, when we got in there, me and my sister, we left uh, the ice early. 
Leon was collecting boards. These guys were packing up the, the studio uh, and collecting fish still right up until four o'clock. We'll talk about that. But uh, we got in there and there was a couple tables set up. Eh? And, and Will Elliott, if you're watching right now, Brandon's mom, she was helping us to put more tables up. And I don't know how much to set up, Barney said, because sometimes there's four or 12 people at the awards or something, you know, and long day Sunday, maybe they won't come. Oh, I think. I think everyone's coming down here. It'll be more than half the field. So we set up all these tables. And sure enough, we have to get more chairs from the basement of the arena there. Yeah. Standing room only. So uh, shout out to all the anglers and people who came out from town. And, yeah, that's uh, awesome. Carlos Cucina. Great uh, menu there. I had an icebound burger. What did you guys have? I had, I, had enough, burger. I had enough burgers this weekend, so I had some chicken fingers. Yeah, I just I... – Chicken <laughs> fingers? Is that what you did? Yeah. <laughs> you know how many burgers you had this weekend? <laughs> It's off the kids' menu, brother. What? Whatever. <laughs> I'm still a kid at heart. <laughs> oh, back, back to that story, Piotrowski. Like they lost, he lost another one there too. He said. Yeah, he said he lost another lost one. Lost another master there, man. And they would never have <laughs> if the lake didn't stop him. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. In yeah, he was jammed. He was jammed between two ridges quite well. They look like uh, truck tracks. Yeah, no, that happens, especially with deeper snow. Sometimes you start following the wrong trail, drive till you get stuck. You start to get stuck. Although, I mean, this is a tip for next year probably, but back up, you know, go at it again. Or you can still back out. It's never like, I mean, if you really remember back in the day, you just keep going, go forward, just keep going. Yeah. Until you got stuck. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think you're going to get stuck. I yeah. think Andrew took, a, took it from you and he just said, send it. So he sent it. <laughs> I tried to. And that's what happened to you, right? In that tournament last year, you got stuck and you ended up fishing there. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. That sure. happened. Yeah, me and Nash. Sure. We stopped and fished too. Why not? We didn't. We weren't as fortunate to catch Masters and losing Masters, but uh, I did catch a keeper. The silverback in the screen behind Eric. Silverback, bro. Who's a big silverback that was there? They, they, call, they say that I'm walking around. And when I walk around, I look like a silverback. Ouch. <laughs> so... You can take that two ways. You're either big or you look like a monkey. Oh, no. <laughs> or we can call you whatever, whatever. You yesterday, man. <laughs> We're not gonna, oh, call, I'm not gonna call, repeat it again. Called you. I'm no, yeah. I don't know. What I don't know what you're people, talking about. People people message me with the exact time on the live feed. <laughs> I, <laughs> if you watch and the sure enough, I look it up, yeah. If you watch the awards yesterday, you know. <laughs> I'm canceled. I'm canceled for sure. <laughs> I didn't say that, yeah. bro. Just, you just, just said someone's awards. last name. Man. I'm just announcing awards, bro. But I want to say, uh, we took in, like I said, like our Icebreaker Elite Series here, and hats off to everybody. But uh, in entry fees, we took in thirty-four thousand eight hundred dollars in entry fees uh, for the tour. Twenty-nine teams. We took in another thirty-six hundred dollars. Uh, Twelve teams uh, joined the B Side Open from the public in addition to the teams that uh, didn't make the final or fishing that too. Yeah. Um, for like, what does that make? 38,000 and change. Now the payouts, the cash, cold, hard cash payouts was $44,850. More, more than what we took in. If you can believe that, that's what we paid out. You know, it, and it didn't come from Santos's piggy bank. But, nope. uh, <laughs> but we've got great sponsors and and whatever our sponsors gave us we gave it right back we threw it out there LaSalle insurance and travel uh huge sponsors of the series champion of the whole series there uh, can't say enough about it you get tired of me hearing it all weekend but I can't say enough hunt fish and be donated we're talking cash element custom baits cash and mug shots and mug shots and uh wing dings and stuff you know two rivers both were <laughs> thrown down you know, five hundred dollars for big fish. We just throw it all back at all the anglers. You know, so forty-four thousand eight hundred fifty dollars went out, one hundred and fifteen percent, fifty percent more than what we took in. Uh, there were costs and stuff, but uh, we're fronting that on this side here. It's all good. We're paying for it and uh, just giving it back to anglers and trying to create something here. And looks like twenty twenty-five is a go, hey boys. I think it's a go. I think so. Man. Sounds like it. Let's go. Let's go. Sounds like I it. Had, oh. I even had a few people message me to ask about, uh, you know. Can they get into the? Is there anywhere for them to get into the tour? And I'm like, well, I'm the wrong, I'm the wrong guy asking, right? Like, it's, but yeah. uh, can't now. After yeah, yesterday, a few, uh, after a few yesterday, people messaged me and they were really serious about it. 
If you didn't qualify yesterday, you're done. I was yeah. saying there. I was saying. I'm like trying to promote still and get more ladies, and I'm all thinking, how can that be? You can't even join up. But there is a B side open again next year. Yeah. And maybe somebody only want to do one tournament. You can only do one. The people who just joined it, those 12 teams are like, oh man, like I wish there was more. It's the end of the season. I want to do it again. Like it's it, it is fun. Yeah. Heck, yeah. We're sitting there scoring and and me blabbing on the mic, and I wanted to go out there and compete, man. I go. I'm sure I can catch one keeper. Come on, not not five master anglers though. Oh my god, that was that's was unreal, man. That was that was not. That's like that's, and they lost even four more. Get out of here! At they the even bottom lost of the hole, they lost four more. Lost, holy smokes, man! Jeez, I don't know, like craziness. I'm still riding the high from fishing yesterday, Marshall and uh, and Tristan. The stress is what made it fun. Really looking forward to next year. It was great to have you guys. They finished That's awesome. in 12th place. If I'm not mistaken, Marshall Gauthier. I'll have to pull up the Kickerfish here too. Everything's on kickerfish.ca if you want to see all the stats and everything like that. I'm going to put some articles up this week and uh, we'll find out. Like, just go through here. Let's go. Let's go to it right now. Icebreaker Elite Series. There. The uh, B side open. Let's see. Where did Marshall and Trist? They finished in 11th. Sorry. I short changed you guys. They finished in 11th place over there. There's the standings. Uh, there's the payout. We had two simultaneous events, like I said. <clears throat> Cash went down over there and prizes. Uh, Frostbite was on the ice. That was pretty cool. Eh? Leon went live there. Yeah. Nolan and Brendan, and uh, two nice guys, right? Nolan's. Uh... Well, we've known Nolan. Well, I've known Nolan for years. He, he went to school with my, my one of my kids there, and uh, it's just great to see him kind of move up through the uh, not only the fishing world, but like in the fishing industry as well, right? And helping out in uh, all different forms, whether it's Hunfish MB or Crossbite or uh, even hunting, right? He's a big he's big into that as well. So, well, while we were abusing you yesterday, Leon, and yeah. Saturday. Like we normally do. Uh, Mike Clyde actually gave a compliment. He said you did a really good job when you're interviewing the anglers. No, thank he you. Did, though. He did. Like, I tried. I did. Did. Yeah. You said it was odd. Nothing stupid came out of your mouth. I said, "Oh yeah." He said, "I love you guys." <laughs> yeah, I love you guys. He was asked. He was looking for a hug, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was he, cold out there. He said, "You did really well job interviewing." So nice. I, I would have hate to have been an angler like somebody else, just wandering around saying, "Hey, there's one of those Yetis. Let's pull up on it." And if they would have pulled up to the scoring shack yesterday. And heard all the swearing and that going on beforehand, and <laughs> yeah. it would have been. Like, we got to get away from there because somebody's gonna die. <laughs> Can you imagine? You open the door and you just walk in. There's nothing but screens everywhere. Yeah. Computers yeah. and screens everywhere. Oh, 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 The jokes keep coming here. Leon is wearing a six 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 fifty XD. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. He's wearing a six. Still not big enough, man. <laughs> ah, real Canuck says it must be an AI rendering. No one can talk that much, bro. <laughs> hold my beer. Hold my beer, bro. You have to slow him down. Yeah, you know, the worst part is, is you can eat and talk at the same time, bro. I'm telling you, I can just go, man. But uh, you know, Melissa Van Goppel says if I can't catch five masses because I'm using the wrong lure, Melissa again catching on her weird contraption. Uh, stay yeah. tuned for Beast in a week later. We'll yeah. uh, check that out there. Where cleats while on the ice right now? Bruiser. Oh, Staska taking a tumble out there. Yeah, man. Be careful. I smashed my head one time. This was way back. Way back when we used to fish straight up from Salamonia, 13 feet. That was our magic area. And I slipped one time and actually... Drank your head? Santos was there, I think. Or Justin was like, are you okay, man? Because it was like... Bang. Mm -hmm. You can't. Like, should I die on the ice? I guess you have to be careful. Be careful. Might have to check out that B-side open next year. Boom. You were already here, Klein Walker. You were here fishing this week. Yeah, you, you were here. You, and do you it, actually man. caught a lot of good fish. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, these guys. Is there a list of all those who qualified for tour cards? There will be. I'm still writing it. Uh, we know They know who they are. We know who they are. Uh, I will be writing that article. Uh, should be out by tomorrow kind of thing. Wow. She caught eight on that thing yesterday. I'm going to have to give that a shot. Caught a bunch of big whiteies. In the woods. <laughs> oh shit! What? <laughs> Don't get me going. Catching whiteies in the woods. I'm out. I'm out there in JD. I don't know what you're trying to do to me. These guys just try to set me up. Sometimes I swear to God. Well, at least Darren James, he is white. So. 
I guess oh, I guess one thing I know we're going to get to it still, but for anybody who's watching outside of the province and doesn't know Lake Lake Winnipeg, like there were tons of master anglers caught, but this lake is this lake is huge, right? Even the South Basin, what what these guys are covering, it's not like a it's not a small lake like some of these people see in the states, right? Like where these guys are putting on miles in between uh, chasing fish and like trying to catch the big ones, right? Like it's 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 not an easy lake to fish. It can humble everybody, right? But here's the thing. I went through all the stats from Q1, 2, and 3. The yeah. most anybody caught was two masters in each tournament. Mm -hmm. right? So like to get mean. five, when, yeah. like the final day, like five, and plus they had three the day before. And there were other teams that had multiple masters. Yeah, And so big, like, big masters. Uh, what was it? Day one, 14 masters. Day, day two. This weekend. 14. A side was 13 masters. Yeah. <clears throat> and on the B side, there were seven masters. Mm -hmm. Just all over the place. It did oh, it did increase as the season went on. 34 in total. Like the first Q1 in January out of Allison Bay only had three. And then and a were, huge one, right? That's where the first 10, one 10 at Q2. And then Q3 had again, it was at 10 yeah and then now like mike was saying like we had a million this weekend and they kept getting bigger too like all our big fish awards every 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 tournament had a big fish day one had a and big fish getting, beast had, yeah. had a big fish and kept getting, yeah. had a big fish all all 30 plus and the biggest one of the season was 3175 caught by uh caught by this team right there in this spot here jason hildebrand was decent Cool stuff. I like the camaraderie of the whole uh, thing there. And old Nash is going yeah, to bed. everybody's all together Nash. hanging out. Yeah. That was really good, you know? Like, this was a big one from day one. 31 and a half. This is a $200 fish uh, caught by Bailey Cousins and Greg Attard. Uh, Canuck Outfitters uh, guides, actually, out there. If you guys are familiar with uh, those fish houses out there. Uh, they did very well this tournament. They were, mm -hmm. they were like Joe Average. Average, like, they're always, like, 13th place. During the season, but they got it, made it, <laughs> they did it yeah, with 13th, man. 13th and 12th. Yeah. And then, bam, third place this weekend, uh, made the cut on the first day and then, uh, right to third place. And a uh, fish like this helped out there. So, uh, years on tour, this is their first year on tour. Uh, you see, at the beginning of the season, no, no top 10 finishes, but they now they have one and yeah, one championship appearance and one top three. So, I was upgrading all the stats too, keeping it, uh, mind you, this is our first year doing it, running it. But it's uh, we're considering it the fourth year of uh, this series on Lake Winnipeg uh, Greenback Walleye uh, tournament fishing. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, James Hebert had started it a little while back, a few years back. So yeah, and we'll show that team in a second. If you ain't first, you're last. Well, these guys didn't finish in last; they were tied for second after the first day, <laughs> and then they were in last on day two, like out of the top ten. But a late twenty-three incher uh, bumped them above. Uh, Jeff the and ninth Branko spot <laughs> in the ninth spot for another fifty dollars, but they had two masters on day one. Yeah, thirty and thirty and a half. This was one of them. Staska, Jesus. let's look at what Staska's picture in that card there. Here's one of these guys here, another master. That's not the season long one, but this is another big one that they had. Hildebrand and Thiessen. Are whitefish out of season or something? Whitefish? Do you even get whitefish right now, bro? Except no, the, it's the way you the comment you said caught a bunch of big whiteies on oh, oh big gotcha. whiteies. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to go back to his original point. Sorry. I started thinking once you say white and woods and my head goes somewhere else and I want to make a joke about it. Eric's jumping back to the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Hebert and Hebert. Oh. 30 inches. 30 inches galore with these guys here. Uh, they had they had a consistent season. They had uh, three top tens. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> one of them, they didn't do so well. Uh, but they fished the river for three of them. Did they really? Eh? I thought they were going up to like uh, That's what I thought. Silver Harbor or something. But hmm. Nope. They're in the river, man. They spent one day like all the whole tournament in that one. Uh, he said he went all the way to Selkirk. All the Selkirk. Three. Yeah. Well, they're good at the Red River, I tell you. These guys have taken on so much cash on that river, I can tell you. 
you know. Well, I think he got direct deposit to his account somehow, eh? Yeah, like it's on there. Like it's like it's on my <laughs> on my e transfers, their email just comes up. It's like one of the first names. Same with the Hilda brand, it's always up there. Yeah. Uh there's another good team here. Aaron Ike and Martin Hesby, they had a killer season, four top tens. So last year was their first season on tour. There were four tournaments. This is their second season, four tournaments. Guess how many top tens they have? Eight. Eight. These guys are batting a thousand for that. Like, I mean, geez. And just when they think they're out of it, it's not like they're at the top all the time. But like there'll be they could be in 15, 16th place, two hours left. And you just figure if you had to put money on it, you knew they're gonna come back and boom. But you know you're a good there. angler when you haven't just start mixing up uh, double tags on your fish. Like yeah, they're just like making combos there, yeah. But it's yeah. true though. <laughs> yeah, they do go off the clipboard, eh, Santos? Yeah, oh, they, yeah, I mean, I I think 15? I have like 15 columns, and they're the one team that consistently gets like fills them all up, man, all the time. So good point that Jerry says, like the point like Leon was saying. If you're not if you're just watching it from afar, and lots of people were, there were watch parties all over the place. That one group from Toronto was watching, and people watching in Minnesota, of course. And this is a great promotion of the province of the lake. I mean, if you're watching, mm -hmm. it's like, holy geez, I really got to get up there because you would think, and like, it's all it's it's there are fish everywhere, but to catch big ones, you can go a whole season, really. And then, oh, yeah. like, you know, March Madness, I've still got to get my master. You hear it all the time, I haven't got yeah. my master this season yet. I think I've been I mean, saying that for the last year. I mean, they're still, there. I still got to get mine <laughs> this year. You look at, like, say, James Friesen. Like, it, he's, James Friesen wants, like, he's growing his beard until he catches a 30. And he still has his beard. Like, and we know how good of an angler James is. Like, right? And he, yeah. same he's thing, right? Like, bit, yeah. it, it's tough. Like, so why are these guys so good? And I'm talking about like that's all kinds of different people on tour, like yeah. on tour, like all kinds of people are catching fish, and, and there's some really good anglers that are like like the average this year is like 21 to 25, right? There's a lot of those. So you saw yeah. across the board, you would see our our scores. I'll put it up in a second. You'll see all those numbers. But yeah. the the ones at the top and the consistent ones always have two or three or four or five masters up their sleeves, right? And Anthony's gonna catch one this week, and you'll get it, bro. Keep going, man. You just gotta yeah. Okay, I'm <laughs> oh, <laughs> there, that's gonna take him to Hecla and he'll go get it. You get yeah. it, you get it. There's so many 20 to 27 inch fish, yeah. But fighting getting those big fish to bite takes a lot of work. It's true. Like, even if you talk with okay, if you go back to day one, there, uh, Perry and Daniel was the only team that blanked that day. Like they they blanked, they they got zero on that day there. They qualified for the final day zero. Then I talked to them today. And so what happened? I don't know. Maybe it's true. Maybe we did have gas on our lures or something, but we could see them. They had a live scope, they're pointing at fish, and not one fish nothing would, wanted to bite. Yeah, would bite like flat out. So you, in that kind of situation, there's gotta be something on your hook. I don't know. I'll now look at look at uh Saturday. Remember that one Santos I chased around? Finally yeah. got it to bite. Bad coaching by a hummingbird owner, but <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is like it came up three times in the shack. Didn't want to bite nothing. Same lure, and all they did yeah. was I like, went outside and I dropped it in front of it, and it actually hit it finally. I think it's, yeah. I think these guys, like you've seen them, they literally chase them till they bite. I've seen it, and like they'll drill the hole. That's what they're doing. And they it goes over and oh, oh, they, they chase it down. It's almost like they got to piss the fish off and up. Before. It's almost it's almost like you yeah. have to bonk them on the head, man. Like anything further like he, away, they're not going to take it. Or it could be like I was asking the the young guys there uh, on the B side, Brett Herekasi and uh, Devin Fosty, eighteen and nineteen year old. So how did that thirty one and a half bite? Like, did you have to really tickle it and coax it? No, it was great. It showed up on the screen and it just. Ripped the rod out of my hand. Oh, now you're talking. That's what you want. That's what you want. I didn't have to do anything. He says it just it came on like they were like a rocket. And, and sometimes they it. do that like a rocket, but they're just they still just go rocket right by. <laughs> that's what, we, right by that's what we see more often, man. Fish are swimming, just flying, and they don't stop. So this one ate. So some of them do eat if you're lucky enough, I guess. Most of the bigger ones I caught this year, I literally had to drop it as they're coming. And it's like they it, they see it, and then they rip it up right away, and then they get 
their reaction is to get it. Or if you're like, that happens a lot when you're dropping your line, all of a sudden you get hit yeah. as soon as it goes down. Cause that, that it's, it's just, just a that reaction bite. Coincidental yeah. oh. intersection of it sees it dropping and has to go get it. Oh, it's like my fish in my tank when I'm putting flakes in there. Those buggers are always begging for food. Mike, will you shave your beard when you catch a 30? You've caught 30s before, Mike, though. Yeah, I've caught 30s. Yeah, Mike's caught lots my of My biggest 30s. one's a 31 and a quarter. Leon, have you caught a 30 in your life? No, 20. Uh, 29. No, 29's, a, yeah, best. Santa's in the snow bear. Best. Mine's a 31 and a half. Hmm. Can someone ask me what my... What We're not talking about Eric. What's Eric? Eric? No, no, don't ask him. Don't ask him. Don't ask him. <laughs> He's going to say 35. I can't <laughs> say it. Man. If no one asks me, I can't say it. <laughs> What's okay, yours? Topic. Topic. Let's go. I, no, I, I caught my first finish ball when I was 22 years old. Didn't catch my second until I was 52. Now look at that. It just goes to show you the things that these guys there and gals are doing on the lake is, is incredible. It is incredible. And... And it's not like you're just catching, you know, you know, like the whole guide 30. Oh, that looks like a 30. Pow, you got another 30 there, sir. Like, we're measuring it. Yeah. The outside agency is looking at these things, measuring it, and we're scrutinizing it. And it's on a legit board, universal board kind of thing. They're 30s, man. Like, holy smokes, 3175. It was a 3175. Like, maybe round it up, but you know for a fact it wasn't more than a quarter inch you know what i mean if it has oh, to get rounded so these are no huge, these are really huge fish and did you catch your personal best near the church no not even not even on ice on ice 32 okay but in op open water 34 and a half. oh that was the one near the church special I measuring tape <laughs> i used to be at 34 first yeah. 34 and a half it shrunk Next over year, the year. 35 man. it grows it grows bro these fish are <laughs> different your class bro you know okay so I, I just I just got a message, okay? Okay. Yeah. So it said, sounds wild, but had mm -hmm. 16 masters in that area from Wednesday to Sunday. Who did, bro? Chad Undra. They had 16. 16. From Wednesday to Sunday. Jeez. And don't forget the ones they dropped, too. Yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. if you don't, you're fine. Around them, if you're around okay. them. And then, like you said, that's only half the battle. So you know what they get next year stuck on their machine? One of them Apple GPS yeah. chips. <laughs> yeah. Send so the drone up and let them follow it. Yeah. <laughs> like Eric was about to, Eric, Eric was saying, I know when Eric asked them, what were, what were you guys using? And they did not want to say, man. So they I mean, did not, eh? Did you see it? They would not. You saw their say. face. He said, no. So it's not only the area. I mean, whatever they're using, it's working better than everyone else. So jig and minnow. Like they weren't. I'll tell you right now, they weren't completely by themselves. People said that. Yeah, I could see. No, them. they were all. There's people fishing. Other teams yeah. were fishing around them. They said I could see them. They were just kicking everyone's ass. So, yeah, hats off to them. If you look at the scores, I mean, we have all fish, like everyone's top five fish, and if you just take a random whatever, uh, 14th place, uh, Tyler Manzik and Jamie McMillan, 22 and a quarter, 22 and a quarter, 24 and a quarter, 23 and a half, 25. That's a fantastic day. That's a fantastic day of fishing, man. That's lots of fun. And that's not the only fish they caught. Obviously, they caught a million more than that. It's just to get up there, you're comparing it now. This was day ones. 26, 7, 5, 25, 27, 29, and 28. You just got to up it by a few inches, right? And you have to – you're averaging a 27-inch fish. And if we just look one more time at the winning bag here on day two, a 29, 29.25, a 28 and a half was their smallest fish, 28, 7, 5, and a 30. Dang. Okay. Like, like five in on. one day, man. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Like, oh my god. Like, so I, I had a question on Saturday night Is there a restriction to mode of transportation on the lake? Like, yeah. helicopter? Yeah, you can't yeah. helicopter. <laughs> no helicopters, bro. But uh, why? Who's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, what's the restriction? What, what would that be? Like, I mean, if someone's got a helicopter, they could pay for the whole tour, then, man. <laughs> if you got a shirt or something, I mean, that's cool. We've never seen a shirt get used. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Snow dogs. Okay, so now you can't use a helicopter. So now you guys know no, no helicopters. <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> who was who was who was asking that? Daniel, can you hold 
Branko wanted to know if he could use a helicopter next year. Did he legit? I was just joking about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he asked. Ah, oh, no, no, no hell, no. There's no, no helicopter. I was just joking on that. No way. No. Just drag a rope with a bit of an anchor so it stays attached to the lake. <laughs> What's up, man, Davies? <laughs> Guys, drilled five hundred grid. Fill them hamster cages. <laughs> yeah. I believe that amount of beaches there was absolutely insane. I have not seen anything like that in the lake this year. <clears throat> Two years ago, a belt broke on my quad near where Chad and Shepard were. I decided to fish while waiting for the tools to show up and caught a 20 and a half. He pulled a Piotrowski. We're going to call that from now on. Chartreuse jig in a minnow. Any questions? Not sure if it works for that. <laughs> well, that is what, that is what Chad uh, uh, Trevor said. I mean, I was asking, remember we were asking him? Jig in a yeah. minnow. Yeah, now, I mean, there you go, Tucker. That's what they said. Now, whether they were or not, I don't know. But it, you know there. what? It's, it's it's funny that you say that because a lot of the guys that you looked at, ninety percent of the rods had jigs on them. Who's playing music? You I got headroom for a second, bro. What was your percentage? Who's that? You were saying? Ninety percent of them had jigs tied on. Oh, yeah. Like on their rods that were sitting there. <laughs> I mean, a rattle, a jig, a spoon. Spoon. Yeah. I mean, that's sort of standard. I mean, you change sizes here and there and whatnot in brands. And uh, Kurt Witt didn't mention he caught five masters a day, and I caught two on his best day ever. Kurt Witt says he was with uh, uh, with Wojcik there. He's talking. We've seen two Sherps Sunday out deep, Carlos says. A Sherp would be really cool to be to come across that starting line. That would be wild. If you're not familiar, the Sherps are those giant things where oh, those I, can, walk, awesome head, I yeah. can walk clear under that thing, I think. Pretty yeah. sure under the diff there. When I win the lottery, that be too, that when chicken I win the lottery, but so never, I'll buy one for CDP. Oh, I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. 31 and a half was on a Jigamino blade. I just, there you go. Somebody nodded at me in the corner. No. So sorry about that. I take it back. You're another one of them guys Stop. that has to ask for your balls to go out in public. Eh? Stop. Kelsey, if you're listening there. Stop. <laughs> This guy wins the lottery, <laughs> and he wants to buy the boys a shirt, and you're going to say, no, Kelsey, you're off my Christmas list now. You only get one bottle of wine, not two. Wow. You know what's funny? Like on my screen. No, don't worry, bud. We'll talk later. <laughs> on, on my screen, the two guys that have to ask permission are on the bottom. <laughs> Give me a break, man. <laughs> we close. I'll I'll agree, man. I got to ask permission, too, though. <laughs> You win the lottery, you win the lottery, you can buy whatever you want. 30.75, Captain Kurt, jig and minnow. Here you go. Oh, you know what? My my best ever on the on ice uh a third was a 32 incher jig and a salty, like not even a live. But remember, remember Santos when I used to I hated lives? I'm yep. like, nah, it's gotta no, be a salty never. minnow, my own marination. <laughs> that's that's what I caught it on was a salty minnow, too. So uh, Bailey Cousins, third place. They caught their two masters on day two on a clam leech spoon. One eighth ounce, nice. Those compact spoons, I tell you. That's I always have yeah. one. Time. I have. A, I'm not gonna lie. The one my master on ice there in the snow bear was on a one of those coffin spoons from Northlands. Mm, yeah, you were using coffins for. Yes, you, you were all determined to use coffins every. After yeah, that. I know I was, and then I, I caught it, but uh, I don't use them that much either anymore. You know but who uh, you, Aaron Ike and Martin Hesby, Martin Hesby inside the thing uses a coffin spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Right? One rod's always on a coffin spoon, just going. Yeah. Divine, we do use, we do what we want. It's just we have to deal with the repercussions after. <laughs> Renting a helicopter would cost less than buying a shirt. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The shirt's, oh, yeah, that's true, though. It's true, though, man. Salty. Yeah, man, salty. Most of us were on tungsten and live minnow. I know tactics has been using the tungsten. Yeah. Even Jomar's been using, like, you know the whole downsizing thing. Yeah, I'm just not confident in a tiny tungsten like to pull up a fat lip, 29 inch walleye, and you've just mm -hmm. got a little prick. In, you know what I mean? Like, ah, yeah. man, I just. Hey, Tyler, maybe uh, you shouldn't have been using tungsten on that one. <laughs> Dad, the totally just rubbing it in, bro. <laughs> Z-man, on a roll, Tyler. Today, so I guess with the dirt, <sighs> another one. Yeah. It, <laughs> the the pintail, like the gussy the gussy special caught like three fish right by yeah. yesterday. Like, it did, I mean, yeah. Like I mean, it, I, yeah. if, if they're, go, they're going after shiners, right? So there's shiners going yeah. all over the place, and and tulipy, and you name it, gold eye. Why not five millimeter tungsten? And that's the bigger, big as they go, pretty much. Was working on the ice with a live minnow. 
yeah i mean i just like a bigger i don't know man those those big girls are they uh they get a tough mouth that little tungsten just not enough mm -hmm. the day you did that markham photo shoot yeah i did a shoot there with uh I can't even say his name because I'm gonna end up making jokes again or whatever. But uh, he caught a 31 that day on the jig in the middle. I remember that day, brother. We were with uh, we were with Don. Don. <laughs> Don't get me started, bro. I'm gonna get hard again. Here. Uh, both our big <laughs> fish were caught on jigs. Respire or he's easy to ask forgiveness, but just do it. Yeah, that's why I'm just gonna make some hard jokes and ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. after. I'm sorry, bro, but it's good. We gotta I'm laugh. With the clothing line. <laughs> we gotta laugh at it, bro. Yeah, any lure someone uses i know everyone has their own you know contraption favorites yeah way of doing yeah. things and stuff like that and i always make fun of others until until they show me that that swivel and a steel leader is the way to go on lake winnipeg <laughs> with a three eight three eight ounce weight stuck to its face so these guys caught seven this is five of the seven that they caught on the weekend there like and i'll do an article and then i I'm going to publish like the measurement shots. You'll see it. Everyone, you can look at the measurement shots yourself as well. Uh, a lot of our big fish, maybe all the 30 inches, they'll show the measurement shot. Incredible. I had my magnifying glass out yesterday, like hard. Trying to look where they are, right? Oh, I, I got it, bro. I got you it. You know it's now? Not, this is fish number six. That's another one. This was from Saturday. Like, and it's not like, like, it's not like they're going somewhere where, like, I don't know, they're not over at uh, Elk Island or something. I mean, there's people all around. Yeah. So they're just out fishing people. Is that good? Pretty good, man. Ten thousand yep. dollars. Uh twelve thousand seven hundred dollars altogether is what they took down this season. Uh they were the top team. They had four out of four top tens. Uh crazy. Good season. That's impressive, man. Birkin head cattle. Pride of Winkler. They're gonna have a parade down there, apparently. So uh we gotta go down for the parade, bro. Leon, you gotta get dressed up, flowers in your hand and everything. They're muse. <laughs> I'll just be the I'll be the Eskimo tent walking down the road waving at people. Ouch! <laughs> He's got to loosen the drag. Tyler says you got to baby the fish. Baby, I'm the I'm one of the ones you know. I can't like as soon as it's hooked. I just want it topside now. Yeah. I want it to, if I'm in a competition. I'll hook I'll hook a fish, a bass fishing or a walleye fishing. Mike knows or whatever. As soon as I hook yeah. it, net it, bro. Why would you net it yet? Like you just hooked it. <laughs> It's nice to actually just get them up right away. Oh, it'd be nice. Just don't look at the measurement for our first big one. Ouch. I, I, there was one measurement yesterday that blood everywhere. I almost passed out. No. <laughs> that first pit, like, people don't understand how, how stressed out your eyes are at the end of the day, especially when you get a photo that looks like shit. <laughs> well, I mean, at least that photo that Brendan had, had the whole had the whole fish in it had the whole fish and the board in it <laughs> but my is, is is you're not trying to be cruel but yeah like legit 45 minutes to verify that one photo that's how long it took us yeah but you will never guess kind of hang on no and they, like, like they're not going to guess they, they have we're to be able guessing, to identify man. numbers or all that i know the, stuff. i know the girls got one where the head was cut right off of the picture. they have to yeah. disqualify to go i, I yeah. can't Score, yeah, you have to. It's a, it's a yeah. DQ fish. What are you gonna do? But the that team's next fishes were were perfect after that. So yeah. I mean, it's a process. You gotta learn it. And I'm sure, yeah. people, there's a whole pile of different checks. All the checks that we handed out at Carlos Cucina yesterday, all, mm -hmm. all kinds, all kinds of checks. Your money was taken down. Uh, like you said, we handed out forty four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars there. We did have the B side open as well. Uh, that was cool. All kinds of fish there. Shout out to Paul Tilson and John Neelings. Yep. Uh, they scored a master angler like that side. I was looking at the scores and I wanted to see like we did did because they were A siders, you know, on that side there, and to yeah. see if the twelve new teams how they would fare. Out of there were there was like more than half of the top ten were new teams, including uh, Nick Murray here and the Carlo Guzzi. They caught a what was it twenty nine and a half as well, man? something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, beauty, beauty fish there. Nice work, Nicholas and Carlo. Uh, these guys finished in 11th on day one. Just missed the cut. It was 15 minutes left, and they got bumped out by uh, Jeff and Branko. Uh, like, if you're watching this, like, you're watching it live, you're fishing, you know, you want time to end already, and bam, sure enough, ding, and that fish kicked them out. So they went on to the B side. They got two masters. They were in first place until what? How many minutes left? Oh, I think there was, like, 10 minutes left. Yeah. $2,000. You're in first place. We went dark. 
and then at the award ceremony you find out that you got overtaken in the last five minutes or so by uh they, they by the young guns, guns. the young guns by the Kids. young guns so this is yeah man go ahead finish i was just gonna say this is a 27 and then this is a 31 and a half but that wasn't even the last fish that they caught the fish that put them over the edge was like a 23 incher yeah no, but it's, it's good to see them finish the season like that because they had two rough tournaments back to back. The young guys did, yeah. Like yeah. I mean, remember that first tournament? First one, man. Yeah. We we're wondering if they were okay. You got to hold back a hundred bucks for a ruler. Oh, that's right. I didn't. Oh I, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I sent them their money, or they're the first e transfer I did this morning. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only team that lost the ruler. These young guys. These are hundred dollar rulers, bro. But uh, that first tournament, remember? Remember, we're like, yes, we were doing welfare checks on yeah. Perry and no, Daniel. We didn't know where they were. Tough day. Brandon and uh, Staska, uh, Brenda, Elliot and Staska were having a tough day. We did a, a welfare check. That first tournament, we had to do well because no submissions at lunch. Let's just see if they're okay and stuff. And they were just having a hard time. And then every tournament, by the time it was Q3, they finished in ninth place. And by the time it was B side, they won it. So I think yeah. this is a team to watch out for next year for sure. I think they got the hang of it now. Um, they're good anglers. It's just, man. Hello, Perry. <laughs> Welfare check, bro. Well, Brandon Elliott wants e transfers. You're going to be last. I'm moving you guys right to the end, bro. <laughs> I have a million. Think about that. How many, how many tens of thousands of dollars we're sending out, and this bank's giving me limits per day. So, yeah, I'm putting you, you're going to get paid Friday, Friday in, in April somewhere. <laughs> Next <laughs> April, not this April. <laughs> These guys are all smiles after and, uh, Good to go. I like it, man. I see more young yeah, people. Yeah, it's good. It's good to see. So, so this was also uh, Mike's. Uh, mm -hmm. We had we had awards, our own awards. Mike's favorite team. Uh, he gave them a, a, another special Eskimo prize. Why were they your favorite team, Mike? Just they're. I mean, Christ, they're younger than ninety percent of us, like just ourselves. Like combined, they go, they're going out there and they're putting themselves up against all these guys that have been fishing that lake for how long? And, and been fishing all the tournaments. So it was good to see them out there. They had two rough ones. Most yeah. kids their age, two rough ones, I would have gave up. Yeah, After these the guys kept on going, people. man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they kept they kept slugging it out. And then, yeah. I mean, to get knocked down after – in a, on, and you didn't even qualify mm -hmm. for the A-side championship. So they came back, and they did it right here on the B-side. And they got big fish of the day for the B-side, 31 and a half. And uh, they can't wait for next year. We're going to get the dates out there right away, too. This was Santos's favorite team, Junior yeah. Bansill and Mike Rivette, the Q1 winners. They got their plaque sponsored by Peter Weedman and uh, over at Westwood Memorials, too. Like uh, These were great plaques, by the way. I can't say enough oh, they're uh, awesome, man. for them donating. Awesome. Uh, we didn't have to pay for them, so that helps out greatly, too. And it all just goes back to the anglers. But uh, why were they your favorite team, brother? No, like, like I said, the... Uh award ceremony there man after the season where everyone's running and gunning when they won the first one they picked one spot the very first one and sat there all day and we know junior ain't moving man he's not <laughs> moving and they won right so they just i mean hey, man. what is that sound yeah like what's that sound is that leon's that's, stomach or what that's not this side no, the dogs the dogs I have, a, I have a plate of food here for the dogs whining. Well, how about put the dog outside with the food? <laughs> oh, Juno, Link. Juno, Mike's going to beat you up in a second, but that's Santos' favorite uh -oh. style of fishing. Juno, get out Hit now. one Look. spot. Hit one spot. Uh -oh. oh, Juno, get this. Get out. Get out. This was my favorite team there. Blake Morgan and April Willis, the pride of Westman, Manitoba, <laughs> represent the ladies get out, Juno. as well. Uh, I love seeing... But more ladies fishing, like I, I made a point yesterday. We don't need no mixed team award or nothing like that. You know, it's just your if you want to come angle and you want to come compete, come on out, whoever the hell you are, you know what I mean? And yeah. uh, come compete, no need to special award for it, and didn't need nothing for them. They they held their own and uh, took down a whole pile of cash this year. I think it was two thousand one hundred dollars they took down this year, uh, and then some. So good job to them. That was my favorite team. They got the LaSalle Insurance Yetis, and Leon had a team of the year uh, for himself. This was his pick. Uh, Dave Simpson and Darren Wojcik, why were they uh, your boys, bro? You know what? They were they were always in it and close throughout the throughout the tournament, right? And we we know that both these guys have been fishing for a hell of a long. That's Leon's hostage, geez, for for a long time, right? And uh, you know they just stuck it out. Like I I really didn't hear any complaining from these guys. They just kind of <laughs> went fishing and did their job, right? 
accept Leon's offer. You're being stuck. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let's see. What are, we, uh, what are we laughing at here? Like Everything. We're laughing at everything, everything Leon's Leon, what are you, saying. Leon, what are you like, about? look it. Yeah, but look. here's a, Here it is. Where'd it go? Right here. That's Leon's hostage. Leon's hostage. <laughs> no, I, I know. And Eric's laughing at what he was saying, man. Oh, I'm laughing. He goes, oh, and they don't complain. You don't complain? Nah, <laughs> not to me. <laughs> the grumpiest white guys you're going to meet. They're worse than me. Hey, they, had, they didn't they complain to season, me, and that's what counts, right? They had a good season. They had three yeah, top cool. tens. They had a, a bit of a tougher week, and this time they were on fish. Just getting them to go wasn't good. But they had a seventh, a seventh, and a tenth place. So uh, good for these guys here. They took down over a thousand dollars in prizes. Actually, these guys. I have to shout out my boys here for sure. <laughs> Hard work. Hard work. Divide and Val were laughing at you guys. There now, you guys are saying, "Oh, they're gonna know how we feel." Divide and Val are like, because the Val, Divide and Val helped me score uh, the open water tournaments and. Now, 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 Jeremy and Mike know exactly how we feel, and actually, I think we've got the system now. Everyone's pitching in yeah. every tournament. We got it all down pat now, and uh, you guys did good this year, man. That was good. Mike's gonna need like eye Another surgery, or something eye surgery. Like. I think he needs an iPad or something. You know I think, maybe. I, I'm gonna have to get an office job so I can have those little dainty fingers so my phone works. <laughs> you know, when you have calluses on your fingers, your iPhone won't work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Props to you guys for running such a smooth series. Congratulations. Appreciate it there. Mm -hmm. Kenny Boy, Skunk D. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Full body cam on Leon next time. Oh, my God. That would be an adventure to see that. But if oh, you're that grumpy, you ain't catching lens. enough. Ouch. Wide lens? <laughs> Heck, the open water tournament. Oh, man. I mean, we're already How many times have we asked that, man? <laughs> we're doing a kayak series already, but uh, a heckler one would be wild. LASIK yeah. surgery sponsor. Wouldn't that be nice? Imagine this a heckler one. A heckler one. If we start be... doing a, a, a three series in the summer, it's like I said to Val, we might as well just sell the prop and get rid of our property out in Lake of the Woods. Oh, we'll every week we would be taken up there. there. Yeah, yeah. There's Divine and Val over there. They were running the B side. And then uh, Mike and Santos beside me there. And I was yeah. running the microphone, of course, as always. Uh, it was a good time. Good time. Great weekend. Appreciate you all. Next year, a little bit going back a little bit to tour cards. So how it worked was, like, and this has to do with that too. And it goes where Brandon should have had a mixed team award. He had like how many? Three different partners. Three partners, I think. Yeah. Think? What's yeah. his body count, bro? His body counts like for fishing anyway. <laughs> it was like, his body oh. counts higher than his master count. <laughs> the tour cards go by each team. So we were saying tour cards, and and there were even some comments then. Why even make that? Like, why even close it off? Wow. You're trying to make something like an elite series. You have to earn your way in. So we were, yeah. this year was just enter and we take the first 30 teams. We did get to 30, actually ended up being 29. Really. Uh, and we said next year, 35. And we'll grow incrementally. You have to be a tour that you want to be on and, the, and to qualify for and all kinds of stuff like that. But we might, I don't know if you should do 40. Yeah, you guys want to do 40 teams next year? I mean, it's more no. cash for everyone. Pro well, it is more cash, but then the problem is, is now you're not, you don't have that group waiting to get in, right? <laughs> yeah. But then you'd have to wait a year to go. I mean, like, I don't want, like they were asking that the guys were saying, oh, how come just each, each angler gets one mm -hmm. tour card? Well, then that would automatically double your, and then next year, if you did that again, then you would double again and double it. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't, that, that doesn't work. You don't want, no, we don't need 120 teams doing this really. I mean, unless the demand was 500 teams and then you just go 100 kind of thing. Yeah. The demand has to be there for sure, but we'll talk. We're definitely at 35 right now and see where in their cars. There's six teams out in the cold at the moment. And we'll see what we do. Well, it depends what the demand is. There's well, and then there's the teams that could make it because somebody had to work the weekend, yeah. right? Yeah. That probably would have been there. So it's it's a tough call, but I mean, it's something you're going to have to talk about this summer, not the week before the tournament starts. Well, we're probably <laughs> on Boxing Day, and then the tournament will start January 14 or something. It'll be we're, it'll we're be the Leon B the week off, Leon man. B Seaside uh, Feeder Series. <laughs> Real Connect says you can need a magnifying glass to read the board. I know it already. Like, I mean, the max is 30 on that already before it gets yeah. too small, kind of thing. But yeah, I'll. Uh, Get more in depth on tour cards after and stuff like that, but it is <coughs> hopefully 35. Congratulations to the 15 teams that qualified in addition to the 20 in the 
uh, that qualified uh, during the qualifier series. And yeah, it's going to be bigger and better next year for sure. We got but we uh, we definitely have to give a shout out to the flag shop. Yeah, yep. Branko and, uh, and Kyle Dodd and Kyle Dodd for supplying us with ice houses so we didn't exactly. freeze our asses yeah. off because that was huge, man. When that slick, that was slick. That fish houses to work out of make the make that uh, our studio. You know, it's yeah. So good. Uh, Andy Hoffer, if you're listening, uh, you can ante one up next year for us to. You know, <laughs> use use all winter long. Bam! I'm gonna show some beasts of the week here. Then we're gonna go into uh, finish off the show talking a little bit of Bassmaster Classic. Uh, how the fantasy would turn out, Santos? Ooh, there, a... you got the standings. Oh, I thought you're talking to me. I got the standings right here. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Santos will share that. But we'll go beast of the week here, and we'll see how fantasy went on that. Our qualifier for March 25. This is the last last qualifier for March now. So we've got yep. January, February, March that we're going to publish that, I guess, right away after we pick today's pick here. Brought to you by Team Fui Automotive. Appreciate you. And Ooh. Island Beach coming to an end here. I think Ooh. maybe next week will be the last Island Beach Custom Lures uh, prize. Uh, this one here, 29 inch greenback, one of uh, Brady King's. Holy uh, Jesus. Here. It's bigger than she is. This is Holy Vivian crap. and her sister Bale. There was more pictures. They had like double headers with them. This is a 29. Oh, look, at that, look at that kid holding that 29. In pajamas. Look how she's happy she is. Bare, and she's in bare feet. Yeah. Like that. And pajamas. Even, even Dave Tucker would approve this. And there's <laughs> that's layered, bro. That's a, that's a layered one there, brother. But uh, I'll message you after. But that's fantastic. Way to go, Vivian. Uh, Brady Kings and Queen. That's awesome. You're going to get a prize. This is like I was talking about Melissa Van Gumpel. Not a biggie, but it's on her wacky setup over there. I don't know if I can bring myself to sit there and fish. I, I would I would do it, but you know me. You guys know me fishing. It would probably be like two lift drops, two lift drops, and then chuck it out probably if it didn't catch in the first ones. I'm actually no. going to – because of you, I get to sell Val's life scope now. Nice. Salad, fish, bro. Just <laughs> fish blind. Just go fish blind, blind eh? I'm right. telling you, man. We, I'm you, saw that? Life scope now. you saw that fishing blind on the weekend there? Well, she said no. Hey, that was a <laughs> quick answer. No. <laughs> Joshua Lowen, a master angler rainbow trout. Cool looking ice they were standing on there. It's bluish. It's this clear water kind of thing. Uh, so that's cool. There was like a, there was some construction behind them there on that. Excavator lake. in the background, yeah. Yeah, well done. Well yep. done. Derek Boyce on Lake of the Prairies. We keep talking about it. Go see them there at Pites West Campground. 30.25. Even Dave Tucker balls. approves of Lake of the Prairies. He knows that place. He's cut a lot on his big and middle there. Uh, another beauty <laughs> walleye. Another beauty walleye <laughs> out of there. That's a 30. A 30. Nice work. But this is already my vote for Beast of the Week. Come on. Sarah Hennison. Personal best, 45 and a quarter. Uh, it smashed. Her. She had her personal best earlier this winter. And this one smashed it by, I think, four inches or so. So. Damn. Lake Look at that, eh? as well. Lake of the Prairies. Yeah. I'm telling you, big, big carp too over there. It's like I mean, all kinds of them. They got big perch, bro, and rock bass, Tucker. All kinds of fish over there. But Sarah Hennessy, Dave Tucker is getting the shout out today. Yeah, which means whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's my pick right there. That's my pick. You guys gonna oppose it? No. 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 That's that's the that's, that's the one, good. man. That pike must have been eating some pepperoni sticks or something. Look at the size of that thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Guys, nice work. Dr. Marsman agrees as well. So that's a good piece. Well, if the doctor says agree. it, we have to go with it. Yeah. Cool, cool, Doctor's cool. orders, man. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor's orders. <laughs> so Gussie didn't make the cut at the Bassmaster Classic here. He didn't make the cut, but he was fishing hard. He finished even better than I thought, was it? 31st. 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 Yeah, 31st, yeah. He was working hard, though. He's working hard. It's just, he's like Hellbuck right now. A little bit in his head, bro. A little bit, I think. I think. I don't think so. It's just not catching him. Just, this is not his style of fishing. Remember at Pickwick when he caught like a, that 10-pounder? One of the few 10-pounders ever caught in competition there? Yeah. It was yeah. this kind of fishing, though. It was like this. But he'd be the first to say it's not his style. It's not his you know? style, right? It's not, not his style, man. Small. There were small the thing is there were smallmouth on this lake. He wasn't going for them though. Probably because they probably enough, weren't right? big enough. 
right? Because it seems like all the smallmouth down there have to be, what, 18, mm. 19 inches or something? There's yeah. always slots for them there. But the hammer, the hammer is what took it down there. Justin Hamner, uh, Juan. So that's, you that's... know, the crazy part is, is he was on Mercer's podcast and yeah. uh, he was saying that he was going to win. Yeah, he eh? was, eh? Yeah. The, and this was two weeks ago. He says, yeah, no, I'm going to win this. I'm ready for it. So, hmm. but it's cool. nice because, uh, well, Corey Johnson, what, sixth? Yeah, Canadian there. Cooper Gallant yeah. is 12th. And uh, Chris Johnson was 25th. But Coop made it into Coop. the Super 6. He did, made eh? The Super 6, yeah. He just had a, a tougher last day is what it was, right? He dropped last, down. Yeah. yeah, he had a tough last yeah. day. So it, it was pretty good. Oh, look at this. What's this? So this is from the Fantasy Fishing for the Icebreaker Series. Mm. Oh. So you've got you got uh, Dale Hutchings and Matt, and then there was Jason Reese. They they're the ones that won like in Q one, two, and three. And I said I'll take the top three from the two dare. Well, four of them picked the exact teams to win, which was Aaron Weeb, Brad, Andy Hoffer, and the Derek. And uh, yeah, so. Now we got to pick a winner for this, and I sure the hell hope it's somebody in Winnipeg because Holiday <laughs> RV sponsored us, gave us a, a tent and a yeah. heater. So nice, nice. That's an awesome package, a shelter and a heater. Just yeah, picking wicked. up free competition. Did anyone get like a like? Did anyone pick Hebert and Unra? I'm sure people were picking them. They're one of the top ranked teams. Oh yeah, they're Hebert. Okay, so. The one team that was picked throughout the entire series by 90% was always uh, Russ Thiessen. And Hildebrand. And Hildebrand, yeah. Arguably number one ranked team there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. And it, it ended up being like in the top five were your solid teams. To recap again, you're, it's Trevor Huber, Chad Onra, and then you had uh, Aaron Ike, Martin Hesby, another top ranked team, uh, Greg, yeah. Greg Attard and the Bailey Cousins. Yeah. And then you had uh, James Hebert and Randy Hebert in fifth and Jason Hilbert and Russ Thiessen in fourth, of course. So, I mean, you pick those teams. Uh, there you go. So, so one of these people are going to win it. Mike's going to draw it. So, yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to do the first or last person standing. Let's do last man. Eliminate them. Go. Keep last eliminating. Man. Last person standing. Last man standing. Here we go. Oh, I guess I got to click on this one. Okay. We're going to go or what? Thank you. It's gonna end up being Hutch. Hutch was giving me a hard time online too this weekend. All right, see you later, Matt Schley. That's the one, that's the one from uh, Wisconsin. Oh, okay. well, there you go. Good. There's that. That's it. Don't have to go perfect. Perfect. No, good. Freight's getting cheaper and cheaper. <laughs> oh. See you later, A Dub. Uncut angling. Damn. Freight just went up again. Freight's back up. Uh oh. Aaron, we should be doing the tour, man. That would be sweet, bro. Yep. Derek Boyce had a he had a big master at Lake of the Prairies, but uh, that's where the good luck ends. <laughs> Next. Yeah, there's big things. Congratulations, and they're getting kicked out. And then kicked out. All right, oh, peace Reese. out, Reese Meyer. It's not going to Brandon. We know that. So that's Reese. good. That's good. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna end up being Hutch, man. Oh no, that's, Brand that's Brandon too, though. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, oh. oh. peace <laughs> out. <laughs> so who is it? Who is it here? Klassen versus Hofer. Let's go. Mennonite versus Hutterite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a movie, bro. Let's go. That's red or blue? Movie, red or blue? Mennonite <laughs> versus Hutterite <laughs> on the streets of Morden. Oh, Andy oh, Hofer. Andy Hofer wins. is going to win. You go. This guy doesn't even use pop-ups, though. He doesn't use They, they make oh, no, hard-sided shots. That's but... good now. That's even better. Nice. There you go. Oh, there it is. Congrats, Andy. Nice, nice yeah. work. Thank you to Holiday RV Marine so, out in Steinbeck. It's worth the drive. Give him a call. Cool stuff there. Santos here has our fantasy. Uh, who won the third tournament, which ended up being the Bassmaster Classic, brother? That'd be H. Larkin, man, with 1326. And then at Prochowski came in second with 1,300 points. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. 
I know oh. I got my ass kicked, bro. Nah, let's see. I oh, think I got my between, ass kicked too. Between there's us, Mawson. There's, the toll. there's the Tolly. Last year's winner, Mawson. He was last year's winner of the Lawrence uh, Prize there. Yeah. The Tolly was eighth. I got 11th. Where where is yeah we don't need to now? look we don't need to even find that oh, keep, going, yeah. keep going, oh, keep going, oh, keep going. Keep going. Is... Oh, we're good oh, oh, where's no. me there's, there's Leon oh, I lost oh, oh, where, where, yeah, where? Oh, keep going. There, there's 34 oh, there there's there. is. <laughs> hey Lebo <laughs> should you use your internal GPS to pick your I don't think you did a sword <laughs> on there bro I think the sword's wrong <laughs> I've been a consistent like 30th place so that's pretty good Mark beat Divine, and she's a past champ, so she's he's feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're not oh, familiar, man. it's not too late to join. The, the next tournaments yeah. come up in a few weeks again. Uh, there's still uh, seven more Bassmaster tournaments. Uh, we do fantasy. There is nothing to it, man. You just pick the teams, and uh, it's easy. Make an account. CDP Nation is the group, and we got some great prizes. So right now, is that Haskins there? Has a uh, Harkin? Has a key? Has a key. In addition Divine's to Divine, got we've got a great prize there. Uh, three keys are already. We're gonna do like old Power ninety seven. Yeah. They already got these keys, and someone's got the key that's gonna win the Sherp. We'll see. The what? The Sherp? Oh no, I'm just kidding, bro. There's no Sherp. Leon's <laughs> gonna buy it. <laughs> Leon's donating a Sherp. Hey, man. Here's here's the thing that worries us, so Eric. I'll do it. Oh, you'll do it. Like it, it's just like okay, uh, oh, we're gonna give you a prize. Where's that coming from? Don't know. I just. <laughs> I like, like, just like the word. Like you like to say the word case. prize, bro. We have our CDP competition coming up Wednesday. I'm almost scared to see what the winners are going to get. <laughs> Last year, oh, you can all get signed jerseys by Gussie. Did you ask Boom. Him? No, he'll do it, though. Mm. I got it. And everyone it got them, though. Everyone yep. got the signed jerseys, bro. So, yep. CDP challenge oh. this Wednesday. So, we've got a special episode. Uh, we're going to go live. It's going to be early. So, you come home from work or something like that. It's going to be like a, like a 5 o'clock live. For an hour just to see the end uh yeah. we'll be out there fishing it's a uh, team the Toli versus team santos versus team the bopa i'm bringing mike's achilles heel maybe we'll see what happens i don't want to announce it he who shall not be named but uh <laughs> and we're i'm bringing your achilles heel you're bringing a masked angler right <laughs> we're gonna win bro we're gonna win the sugar oh there's the shirts eh? I, didn't, I never saw them like that'd be really cool to see them but uh yeah, stay tuned for that this Wednesday for a special episode. Other than that, it'll be uh, back to Monday, 8.15. Uh, we'll be talking some stuff. The end of the season. Remember, the season ends on Lake Winnipeg, that is, um, on Sunday. So, like, that place closes. The rest of the province is open, right? We don't have any more of that okay, yeah. regs. But Red River and Lake Winnipeg this Sunday. No April fishing this year. Sunday at midnight, it's done. done. So, that is that. Is that striped bass or a white bass? It's a striped bass. Well, yeah, the co colloquially way. we call them straight bass here too, but is that true, bro? Wild. If that's the case, that would be awesome. They may be coming back. So he means 5.30. Yeah, we'll be at Gone Fishing Shack. The plan is 5 o'clock that day. We're going to get the whole pile of fishing done, and we'll see who's going to win. Team Lebopo will probably have a big lead by then, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> what we'll time see. are we starting, by the way? Uh, lunchtime probably, maybe. We'll have to Heading out early, eh? I All told right. y'all at 1 o'clock. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic element custom baits, Eskimo Huntfish and B the Rants, Frostbite, Carlos Cochina, the flag shop. Uh, who else? Acme Tackle, Ion, you know, catching Cook with the prize there too. LaSalle well, Insurance. For the that's the first one I've been saying. Let's out. Yeah, we didn't. I we didn't hear it again. We didn't hear nothing because there was like blank. As soon as you yeah, you want Max Headroom on us. Oh, did I Max Headroom? Oh, well, yeah. That's it. They, they get their one shot. At the, you only get one sponsor shot out, and that's that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, next week yeah, we'll, we'll see what they say when you ask them again next year. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> oh, you only give me one shout out. What the hell? But I named everybody. I can repeat it. You know me. I'll go exactly what well, I said. We know, earlier. brother. Me and the totally know. Shout get to our sponsors, LaSalle Insurance and Travel. We appreciate you so much. That was fantastic. <laughs> Element Custom Base, Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear, Hunt Fish MB, Lawrence, Frostbite, Carlos Cucina, The Flag Shop, Acme Tackle, Catch and Cook. We do appreciate you all. Uh, again, bigger and better next year for that one. Stay tuned for the Kayak Series. Check out kickerfish.ca. And if you're new to the channel, give us a sub here. Follow us on Instagram and get those uh, last minute beasts of the weeks in for next week. Same with yep. Feast of the Week. Let's go. Eric, my Thanks. mic is wearing out. Yeah, it's wearing out. I need a picture of this white bass too, bro. Because 
even if it's in the net, I think that's good for a big sky flies and jig package, bro. I don't think he said you have to catch it by a hook. I'm serious. Or I'm just going to Photoshop it onto something there and done. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... Peace out, everybody. We'll see y'all next week. Wednesday, actually. <coughs> oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday.